Time for some history, Doug. Yeah, well, that that would be that's a Sneakily pretty good. Just turned it back on with my phone. <laughs> that's a pretty good technical difficulty. Not a hard one to do either. No, nah. right your phone goes. It's gonna be a problem. You should so, just be able to hang them off your head somehow. <laughs> uh, everyone who watches the video episodes, sorry, the audio has been shit lately, but hopefully we're picking that up and solving it this episode. There's all kinds of manners of buttons and switches on that thing. I can't figure. And it's gonna out. take some time. It's gonna take lots of time. Between having the fucking sound thing, sound interface, possibly on the wrong output settings. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of time <laughs> if you focus all your energy on getting dressed up and getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. It's like, it's like a, it's, this is the priority, I think, now. What's that? Sorting out the sound? Making sounds, yeah. Instead of wearing togas? Yeah, well, not instead of. <laughs> just saying let's like, take them as seriously as each other for once yeah that's very <laughs> true that's very true but I don't even know if the audience can see our wreaths and everything bro because we're sitting in front duck, of the screen duck, duck, duck. <laughs> the screen get, get out of the way of the screen I'll make one for gold <laughs> hopefully but I'm feeling because look at the shades bro look at the shade matching yeah mate well, yeah, you actually get to look at me right now on the back of the green yeah, screen. Yeah, I can actually see how similar they are, and I've realised I've made a grave error. <laughs> <laughs> God, I got some eye food in the shop. <laughs> it was only after we finished Last. making them, though, so we can't not wear yeah. them, bruv. It was already done. That's it. Only God work. God's work is perfect. <laughs> Let's say. Welcome back to Browsing History. Let's go with... What we're doing today already? We're hitting the ads. Yeah, bro. We're going early. We're going with the back to the Roman Empire. We've done a bit of Marcus Aurelius in the past, and when we did Marcus Aurelius, we mentioned this chavy because he's big part of the Aurelius story. And we're doing a uh, tenth of June, one thirty eight A.D. Emperor Hadrian of Rome dies, bro. Hadrian of Hadrian's Wall. That very chavy. Mr. Build That yeah. Wall himself. That's it. <laughs> OG tr- Caesar Trump. That's it. And th- here's the difference. This dude actually built the wall. Yeah. And there wasn't already a wall there to begin with. Like yeah, with it wasn't Trump's. like a false wall. Yeah. It was like a necessary wall. And it's still it's a wall that's still knocking about today in bits. And this is a good one, actually. Go on. So this sort of time period is Vesuvius and Pompeii, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. So Hadrian's Wall is one of my favourite spots I've ever been for graffiti. I haven't <laughs> been Pompeii, but I've seen some fucking outstanding... Oh, there is. Everyone scratches dicks into everything back then. That's where it all started. <laughs> Did you get any of those graffitis uh, written up? Oh, no, I can't. Like, oh, man. It's I've just read... from, like... I remember seeing pictures. I've re- read some today, and they were fucking fantastic. I can't remember them. All of them. But just basic things like, mate, he's shat here three times on this very wall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what Hadrian's Wall is like as well. Oh, really? It's literally dicks old and Adrian shit. was yeah. here, bo. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Shit like that, and then little d- dick spunking, <laughs> dick with pubes. There's like some of the ones in the Pompeii ones is like, I fuck all the bitches, basically. Yeah, and so stuff like it was that. like, I think... Uh, like when you're a tourist they'll take you on a tour guide yeah. they'll try to explain it as in like it was like a little treasure map to the brass houses yeah yeah like yeah like it was like that little codes and that yeah. codes into the wall and you just followed the dicks whichever way the dick was pointing <laughs> look see 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 and now look five fossilised brasses that's archaeology son <laughs> I know the thieves honour code <laughs> let's get into give us some birthdays for 10th of June cuz what uh, have you got for ones. me um I can't remember any. I was just saying how good they were. There are some good ones. John Calvin. We talked. We mentioned um, like the start of Protestantism. Yeah, Martin we did Luther, the start Ca- of uh, yeah, John yeah. Calvin. Yeah. It's his birthday. Oh, is it really? No, like obviously last episode. I didn't mean we just mentioned it. Yeah, <laughs> I was confused because I have. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's theologian, Protestant, like Martin Luther. He was like one of the big early things Don't. in America. Same as one we were talking about before that. Yeah, he, yeah. Like um, the Mormons and everything. They yeah, Joseph Smith. All the big religion of the time was yeah. like the uh, Lutherans and the Calvinists. Yeah, so I get you. Martin Luther and John Calvin. Oh, it's that dude. Yeah. Of so course. he's the, the Baptist man. And 
the reason I've got blue can today. Yeah. So I'll just like, like to preach forgiveness. Yeah. Nowadays, so, so I'll forgive you and how's a bush and happy birthday, Adolphus Bush. Wait, the geezer who found Budweiser. Yeah, the real well, dude. Yeah. Bush Light, Budweiser, Stella is actually his invention as well. Really? He just makes geezer beers across the, across the world. <laughs> Every time you need a geezer beer, he's it's made not it. too cheap and it's not too strong. Yeah, he's made it and he's made it just perfect. That's it. So, fair play, whatever you're doing now is cool. Let's get some of them, like camouflage, right wing <laughs> eagle cans that you're doing <laughs> uh, on, the, on the house. <laughs> Happy birthday, Anne Houser. Who else we got? Um, Tesla. Oh, the, oh he's Nicola. Had an episode as well. He's had an old episode himself, bro. I'm starting to realise that history's all intertwined. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's get, let's get like a like. I think you said it the other day. We need to get strings and pins on a wall. Yeah, we need the cork boards. Yeah. No one understands what we're going for, and that <laughs> makes sense why the Tim Four Hat guys do it. It makes you seem crazy, but it's like no, I couldn't say it. Pin, 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 pin. pin. <laughs> so somehow Tesla's connected to Hadrian's death, bro. Well, yeah, it's like that time of year, isn't it? If he's born on the Most day of Hadrian's storm. death, is Nikola Tesla a reincarnation of Hadrian? Because Hadrian loved to build, and Tesla was an engineer. Oh, he was the like he was the rerun. Yeah, he was like he got remade. So instead of stones, because it's the, the Roman parts, era, but they got a new one. Instead of stones, because it's not the Roman era, he came up during electric Metal times. Metal and clay, bro. So he was there. like electric times. You know what I mean? That's it. Possibly. He's got it. Another man who's a fucking serious. Artist that go on. not only building shit but breaking shit down. Go on, Jake Lamotta. Oh, really? Jake Lamotta's birthday. Is bro. it really Raging Jake Lamotta? Yes, yeah. bro. That's a sick one. Who's That's a best? really good one. Who is it? Sugar Ray Robinson. They just had wars. Oh, I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's like fucking ten back to back. That's really cool. Attempts by Lamotta, and he just like wound him up every time because he was like literally like a fucking just a brick. Yeah. You could yeah. knock him over, and then um. Ray Robson was like silky and super fast. Of course, slick. So he's just in there going like, bring, 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 not hurting, not hurting. <laughs> well, it's Apollo and Rocky, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's literally like literally those type of like, dudes. Yeah, we're space. One on. of the first like proper like story story style, feuds, like all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's loads of them. That's what boxing's all about, really. Well, of course. So we, we did, did a whole fucking episode. episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last episode was all about that, bro. And um, special mention, Bela Fleck. He's like one of the greatest it's banjo been a players. Fle- it's Ben Affleck's birthday. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Ben Affleck. It's Ben no, Affleck's Bale birthday. Affleck, yeah. Fucking He's a classically trained banjo player. Oh, wait. I thought Arguably the greatest of all time. Mate, oh, I thought you meant actual Ben Affleck. Oh, no. Not Ben Affleck. Baylor Fleck. Oh, Baylor Fleck. Baylor Fleck. Oh, okay. He's a banjo player. Seriously nice. sick. And that chick from the family, Sophia Vergara. Oh, is it her birthday? Yeah, boy. Shut up. <laughs> And it's the same day, like this is the guy I keep getting him mixed up with. Um, who was the last uh, Thomas Jefferson? Yeah, I get yeah, him mixed yeah. up with him, but it's Andrew Jackson. Oh, it's Andrew Jackson. I get him mixed up. Maybe J surnames. No, it's not his birthday. Oh. It's the day that he blocked the bank, and that's the thing that I keep going on about. Oh yeah. On his deathbed, his last words were like, oh, "I killed the bank." Yeah, they boy. Didn't. And then they put him on the twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, retard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, same day, King Louis. Joined up for, on the American Revolution, declared war on Britain. Oh, really? Oh, this is 10th of, 10th of June, all this is happening on? 10th of July. 10th of July, sorry. Nice. Uh, Battle of Langport from the British um, Civil War. This is a sick so, day. Yeah, the, the New World Army, or whatever they're called, come down and smash the Royalists yeah. in like Somerset sort of territory, and then they yeah. take Bristol, which is on the Seven, good trading thing, oh, fucking and hell. it was all downhill from there. I didn't see. I didn't even get this far down on the list when I was checking out what happened in history <laughs> yeah. today. I saw Adrian. Fuck fucking, ADs, boy. Yeah, one thirty eight AD, and I was like, oh, well, that would fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's about. Yeah, I don't want to go too hard on like the events because it on. detracts from the whole. What's going on? Like, yeah, we're yeah. we're talking like early B- BC AD. Yeah, just changing over. There's people from BC. There's people from AD. It's true. Which I mean, means there's Jesus. Well, r- we're starting with around about seventy six AD. That's so, when Hadrian's. So born. imagine you're a hundred. Yeah, you've lived through the birth of Jesus. Yeah, that's crazy. The man. common era, if you've got to be a bitch about it. That's that. So this is setting the scene for it, bro. Yeah. Literally, Jesus has just been knocking about. Yeah. It's like thirty years after. Like, that's your crazy. Granddad will be telling stories about Jesus, like how your yeah. grandparents talked about the Beatles. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, this is one chavy, proper fucking hippie drip, bro. Just telling us all to get along. 
can't what remember a what he was getting on at, but that was a fucking banging fish sandwich that was. <laughs> 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 Best fish sandwich I've had actually <laughs> on, <laughs> on the shorelines of Galilee. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember, but I think we're just stucking up on a fucking cross. <laughs> yeah, okay, what, it? what was it? Yeah. No, what was it? Oh, yeah, crucified. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> then there was a plague. <laughs> then there was a Roman Inquisition. <laughs> the Israeli Inquisition. The Pharisees. Yeah, well, no, so like what else was... Roman time. It's yeah. like they started building the Colosseum later. Just just like, around so, this time? Like, yeah, not long. Like, when is it? Like, 70s, 80s, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Same as Vesuvius. Yeah, 70s. So. It was like the fucking proper having it days it's like if it was an 80s movie yeah it's like dun, 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 bitch, bitch. Romans are everywhere doing everything it's peak it's peak Roman because you got like like I just said you literally got mounts of um, Jesus gets crucified mounts of uh, Mount Vesuvius goes the off the raid on fucking Jerusalem yep the siege on Jerusalem and then the Colosseum is starts getting built yeah it's like quintessential Rome, Romanicity yeah yeah, and that makes sense because Emperor Hadrian was actually considered one of the um, great emperors, five great emperors of Rome, mm. and Hadrian's like the middle one, the one in yeah. the middle of them all. Yeah, and uh, later on there's Nero as well, the fucking nutter we talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's not long into his, it's like the end of Hadrian's life basically, isn't it? He starts well, no, Hadrian's him. gone by then because the two empires, emperors after this is oh, okay. um, Aurelius, isn't it? And then Aure- Aurelius stabs... Leads, um, Aurelius stabs leads... By Nero. Aurelius leads to Nero eventually. Yeah. yeah. No, it's pretty long off then. Yeah. No, I know it gave me a thought as well. Alexander the Great. Yeah, go on. But I'll get on confused with Aurelius. That's because you're thinking. Based. That's because you're thinking of um, Ptolemy. Also comes no, that's up what with I was Pyra. About to say, because time. it made me think of that. Yeah. I remembered Ptolemy, who may be related to Alexander the Great. I didn't check. Yeah. But I think he is. He's definitely related to Cleopatra. Invented like pie. Around this time? Yeah. Crazy. Around this time, <laughs> hey, bro. <bruv. laughs> I meant that intentionally. So, yeah, he's basically got this... They're only just figuring out complicated math. Yeah, he's like doing divisions. Well, no, actually, it's not true. I think Pythagoras he's just drawn loads of squares <laughs> over a circle and calculated everything. Like, he's just done loads of work. But he's like got it down to like a few few thousand digits, I expect. Yeah, a few thousand. It's oh, good like, on him. My abacus only got so many things, but it's like three, one, one, four, whatever. He gave it a good go and he got it done. Good on him, boy. Yeah, he's fair play. Tell yeah. me. That's this sort of era, 70s. Yeah, man. The Vesuvius shit. That's it. Oh, man, I'll tell you what I love about, about Vesuvius. So we talked about the graffiti earlier, about the dude who's uh, frozen in time, jerking off, like, fucking cracking one yeah, out. Yeah, that's what I was going to say boy. as well. The dude's big salute to the Vesuvius corpses. They yeah. were just like, fuck all this. <laughs> 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 through all the streets of Vesuvius <laughs> proper man having a well here's the thing I, I ruined it for myself because I googled about him to try and find out more about him and fact check has been on him bro what he ain't real they're saying he, he was prob- peeling a banana they were saying <laughs> <laughs> basically they're saying he probably weren't wank- wanking because he died of like heat where his body like fucking warped and shit like that and I was like well Fucking nerds! Why are you ruining the fun? He still grabbed it. He's like, <laughs> he's like filling up with blood uncontrollably, and it like, hurts. It's getting stretch marks as you get fried. And he's like, "Look at this!" <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, those nerds got to ruin everything fun, bro. Mm. You get a fun thing like, like that in history, and people are like, "Nah." That's what we do as historians. Yeah. We're kind of like the Jordan Peterson of history. <laughs> History's gone lame. And now I'm going to explain to you he was definitely having a wank because that's what I would do if the world was going to shit. I was in my bedroom and there was no text or nothing. There's just, you look out the window, everything's smoke. Everything's like gone. There's like lava coming down. You're like, well. <laughs> Take off your socks, lay back, and that's he's it. off. Extra virgin olive oil wanks, bro. <laughs> Let's get into Hadrian, bro. So. Oh, here's, here's, I've got some little things about him as well. So, like, he ended up pushing Rome into becoming, like, way more of an aristocracy as when he took power. And here's one other thing. Do you know how, like, can you figure out who, do you know nowadays, a lot of blokes, well, every, every bloke and their nan has got, like, a full beard. Yeah. I can't remember where that started. Who started that? Oh, yeah. Kings of Leon, I think. Yeah. 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 I think I had a big factor. Okay. But also like um, city hipsters. All right. They were doing it. So big full beards are popular at the moment. In Rome, it wasn't really. until ha- about 20 years. Until Hadrian was knocking about. 
these are the keys who brought the full beard looking to run. But that's like, they never admitted test levels before that. That's how Rome went mental and had all these <laughs> mental <laughs> empires. It was like, no, if you don't have a beard, you ain't cool. And well, it's only like, oh shit, only before, these like, guys like, that's that don't break Bef- down estrogen can have big beards. Before Hadrian, it was like everyone was clean shaven. Yeah. That was the thing. But yeah, imagine you just come out of that fucking shit, basically. Like, this is like when civilization's taken mm. off. You can get someone to feed you a grape <laughs> with a golden <laughs> like a boudoir couch. Yeah. And uh, it used to be everything's the sharpest shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you've filed your flint down, you've got the sharpest knife, it's going to give you you're the best survival skills. Yeah. You've got the best tools, so you like, it's like being fat. Yeah, I get it, you. Like, it used to be good. That's yeah, why we yeah. love sugar and carbs, because you yeah, never know yeah. when you're going to get it again. Yeah, yeah, But we yeah. actually do. We know exactly when we can get it and <laughs> Pop when. down the shop, yeah. But yeah, your genes don't know that. No, so of course. So it's like, the sharpness must have been like a I get you. thing. Like I'm that fully really shaved, I can cut my hair off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit. Well, the reason, only reason he started bringing back the beard was because he was like a massive but Greek. lazy. No, he was just well into Greek culture. Oh, yeah. And, and he was like Greek like philosophers and stuff like that. He dug them. So he was like, I'm going to grow it out. Oh, yeah. They called him the Greek, didn't they, I think? They, they called him the really little Greek. Greek. Fat Greek. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian, the fat Greek builder. <laughs> 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 Adrian's plumbing and kitchens. <laughs> so he was uh, born 24th of January, 76 AD. And people aren't sure if he was born in Hispania, so like Spain, southern Spain, or if he was born in Rome. Because his family owned an estate, a huge estate in Hispania, like oh, a really oh, important yeah. one. Holiday homes. But he, no, that was their yard and that was like their business and oh, shit like that. that. But his uh, father was also a senator, so he was required to be in Rome as well. So they're not sure. Oh, right. Not well, the lady's probably at home. Maybe. And then one day he turned up, yeah, and like everything had been burnt down and everyone was screaming <laughs> and he has like PTSD flashbacks about it. He gets taken as a slave, becomes one of the greatest <laughs> gladiators of all time. <laughs> Wrong character. Oh. We'll, we'll get to him one week. Russell Crowe. Yeah, Russell Crowe is a beast. <laughs> we'll tell the biography of Russell Crowe. Oh, we should have done that for our next episode. Oh, Mel Gibson's be a good one. Yeah, Mel, yeah. That era. <laughs> he did the Patriot films, didn't he? He's done he loads did. of like... Yeah, and we he didn't did the Jesus film, the Passion of the Christ. We could yeah. have done him right now. We could have done. Well, if we got a minute, we could talk about the life of our Lord and Savior. <laughs> <laughs> this is a five-hour episode. Everyone, so back. we um, we definitely definitely got to watch the Patriot one time. I've never seen that. I want to watch history movies. I ain't seen as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we're going off. They're voting. We're, we're going off 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 now. So off subject. We're still talking about Hadrian out here. So he's like I said, not sure if he's born in Rome or Hispania, but his great uncle actually turned out to be future empire Trajan Trajan emperor. Sh- future emperor Trajan here's the thing though eight, in 86 AD only 10 years old bro Hadrian loses both his parents mm. I think gone. I this I think f- gone I don't know where I've heard it anyway yeah he always, they just died we Tis might the talk time. about this while I played Farm Simulator one time maybe <laughs> <laughs> and uh, his Great, uh, great uncle Trajan ends up taking him in, not adopting or anything, just taking him under his wing, mm. as well as one other chavy as well. But he's not as important as Trajan, so fuck that guy. But here's the thing as well: Trajan had enough influence to g- and decent enough to cash to put Adrian through a decent school, and this is where Hadrian became a bit of a Greek file and started oh, loving oh, Greek right, shit. Nice, yeah, because only. Th- it wasn't even called the classics back no. then. It was just called the. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, it was just like the so newest this album. Is it. Yeah, <laughs> you say you make a column. This is what a fit bird looks like. This is what a muscly man is. Go wild. And they also uh, like people would know the Iliad and and Homer's yeah. Odyssey like off the top of their head and shit. Yeah, it's like the, oh, have you seen that? Have you read that one? Yeah, yeah. Like, instead of like oh, so, oh you've seen Spider Man. And then at the end, yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember my mate fell off the thing. Yeah, like, it's like that. Yeah, have you, oh, you it's heard like the, the latest shit about? It's like there's a new one. <laughs> Someone has spent the time to write it all down after <laughs> watching him write it down, and it's finally out two years later. So, uh, also they reckon Trajan's wife also influenced Hadrian a bit because she was also a bit of a fancy fancy on the Greek culture. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nin- Step mommy vibes. That's it. That's it. 91 AD, Hadrian entered public service. He becomes a soldier um, well, at the age of 15 as well. Sorry, before that, before he becomes a soldier. At the age of 15 in 91 AD, he gets his like adult robes and also gets hold of his family's estate because he's old enough oh, now. That's sick. 
So he heads back to Hispania, and he knocks about there, and he's... Uh, thing is, when he heads back to Hispania, he's out hunting all the time with the lads, because that's yeah. sort of a big thing back then. Mm. But to Rome and people like that, they're like, yo, that's peasant yeah, fun. Like, yeah, it's like pagan shit. Yeah, they're like, well, you, that's peasant fun. You know, yeah. mm. Adrian don't care. He's knocking about with the he's lads. You know? Yeah, he's a redneck, isn't he? But what happens is his uncle Trajan is sort of in North Hispania doing some military stuff. And he's about Hadrian fucking around, hunting with the boys. He's like, come up here. You like hunting? No, he doesn't say come up no. here. He fucking marches down there with his location. Oh, shit. Spooks him when he's having a party at the gaff. Grabs, his, grabs Adrian and drags him off to Rome like, fucking, we're sorting you out. So. <laughs> and then when he gets to Rome, that's when he's like enters public service. Because he's on the road to start becoming a senator. He's got to do some military service, bro. Nice. That's what happens in Rome. And he starts as like a civil servant and, thi- and thing in the army. But what they like about him, the low rank army dudes actually quite like him because he's used to partying with the lads and going out hunting. He is like, that's personable, isn't he? Yeah, that's it. He's eating the same rations as them, yeah, not with all the nobility. Yeah, he starts hunting and all that shit. Yeah, yeah he's a common man. Yeah, that's it. He's, he's also, file. That's it. He's knocking he's about. Sin- he knows about dodging. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's going out uh, marching when all the recruit, uh, all like the uh, grunt dudes are out marching. He's doing the full distance with them. He ain't Sick. fucking about back at the yard. He's carrying the boats. Yeah, bro. He's carrying the logs, bro. <laughs> He is out there I carrying the bugs. Yeah, do your thing, bro. Let me know what else he did after the boats <laughs> and the logs. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that all recording still? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy, camera's good. Yeah, boy. So, yeah, the camera knows what's up. In 101 AD, so, yeah, in 101 AD, he becomes a quasitor in the army. Quasitor? Quasitor. Quasitor? I don't know. But basically, that means he's in charge of the treasury and the money in the military. Oh, right. It's a pretty good little job. He's a clerk. <laughs> <laughs> but then in 102 AD, Trajan... Oh, bro, I missed out a big part as well. He embezzled a load of money! No, before he got a job in the treasury, January 28th, 98 AD, Trajan, his great uncle current emperor at the time gets assassinated and Trajan gets the job as emperor Rob. Shit, son. Yeah, so his great uncle just got the emperor job and uh, Hadrian wants to be the first lad to tell him because he thinks that will get him sort of like... In yeah, his he wants to be like, the messenger. He w- that's it, he wants yeah. to be the messenger. Um, so there's a race between him and some other chavvy to get there. Hadrian ends up being first geezer there. Let's un- great uncle know. It's like the marathon all over again. <laughs> Greek as you like. He, he lets great uncle know, like... You're going to be emperor, bro. And great uncle loves him for it. Starts dragging him back to Rome with him. He was definitely with him on the way. Trajan takes power, becomes emperor. That's after when in 101 AD, he gets his cushy clerk job, dealing with the monies for the military. Gets yeah. a little bit of Dick Shaney job. Do you know what I mean, bro? That was like a whole hypnotism. He yeah. figured out his plan to go and tell him that, like, oh, shit. he was next in line to become his little bottom lick. Well, I mean, he was already sort of his adopted, looked after son. Not actually adopted, because that's a big controversial thing later. But he's not actually adopted. But that was like, yeah, he was trying to get a bit more cushy-cushy with him, you know? Yeah. Uh, so oh. Trajan in 102 AD uh, heads to Dacia to quell a rebellion. Dacia is modern-day Hungary. He's got to pop over the Hungary. Remember now in a uh, shit Chinese-built cars. <laughs> <laughs> Hadrian serves as Trajan's companion on the way to... To, uh, Hungary. Mm. Nothing dodgy. It is just like military companion. It's just like set up. Yeah. Battle buddy. <laughs> oh, I can't remember what they called it. They changed that. They changed Battle the... buddy. Yeah, so that was a thing that they used to take the piss out of. Yeah. Like, I think it's like early 90s. In America, you had to refer to your, like, if you don't know their rank and you're in battle or whatever, you're like, battle buddy. <laughs> Look at me, battle buddy. <laughs> 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 so like now they've changed it again to like something like Warrior Companion or something like that. Oh fucking some lad. Skyrim shit. <laughs> I like Battle Buddy. That's Battle good. Buddy's much better. <laughs> uh, One o two A.D. After a year of heavy fighting and massive losses, the Romans succeed, and King Decibus of Dacia accepts an unfavorable peace. Unfavorable peace, like occupation. Yeah, pretty much. That's how the Romans do, though, Rob. Yeah. 106 AD, Hadrian advances to being in the Praetorian Guard. Oui, oui. Which is a pretty big job, Rob. You know what I mean? Oh, I was thinking of something else, the ones with a big fucking crazy feather. I think that's what these guys are. 
is one of them. They, they all had their own feather. But this there's is one like, with a big crazy one. Oh, really? It's like fucking like 11 feet tall. Praetorian Guard is like Emperor's Guards. Yeah. Like personal bodyguards They got like the shit. fucking Darth Vader shit going on. Yeah, you know, that's the red it. ones from Darth Vader. Yeah, yeah, that's, like they got that, that vibe. They're fucking... Big they're that vibe. sorted out. 112 AD, Hadrian, known as the Little Greek, um, gets to live his ultimate trip and travels to Athens, bro. Where did he get a nickname? Dre- <laughs> Go on. Do you reckon when kids, like, you know, there's like young kids, have you ever been like around a bunch of uncles <laughs> at maybe like a barber shop yeah, or yeah, like yeah. that sort of environment, a Domino's game? <laughs> And, like, they all start clapping on the fat kid or whatever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, goes a little Greek, come out. <laughs> and the little Greek has to do his belly dance for everyone. <laughs> and they're laughing their ass off and he fucks off the bed. Well, it was, <laughs> it was sort of like a mocking name because he loved Greek culture. Because so he, he like, belly danced. Because <laughs> <laughs> he used to belly dance at the kebab house. <laughs> That's it. At the back, where they got like, the good benches. <laughs> <laughs> the custom ones are shit. The ones in the back, where they were just chilling. <laughs> fucking pick off back, it's great. My fucking uh, dad's pizza place he used to work at when I was a kid was like that. Just like a beat up motorbike, old but out back and stuff oh, like nice. that. A bunch of geezers, it was good. Anyway, Epsi. Big <laughs> 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 men, <were> men. <laughs> <laughs> He receives citizenship when he gets to Athens and is named one of the Archons. So it's just like a big representative of Athens. Um, he's like, yeah, he handles all the city's affairs and shit. He completed Arkham Asylum <laughs> on hard mode. 113 AD, Emperor Trajan starts a war to annex Armenia from the Parthian Empire. Nice. Yeah. 114 AD, uh, Trajan successfully annexes Armenia. Fucking good on him. Hmm. He gets it. So how long does that take him? Only a year. That's pretty good going. Pretty good little emperor move, do you know what I mean? He's all about the conquering, snatching it up, expanding the Rhone. Wearing the skirts. Wearing the skirts. Liberating. Wearing his... Perfect, you enjoying the toga. Yeah. <laughs> like, how much all sweaty, though, in a toga? Yeah, you know it's I mean? wild, isn't it? I'm sitting and dripping out my It's just such pitch. a shit weather, this, like... I like it. This July has been shit. I like it. I love this heat, bruv. But you've been working indoors, building air conditioning for places with no air and conditioning. And I'm a caveman. Yeah. Well, people are from like mountains and caves, they dig holes. Bro, I'm the most English. Th- well, there is sort yeah, of Wales, but I love the heat. Great miners. The heat's where it's at, bro. But maybe that's why. Maybe they're like solar boats back in like the <laughs> Tartarian era. That's how the river gypsies got about. <laughs> With their Egyptian blood and that. Have a, ru- m- have a gypsy in on the Nile. Oh, man, that'd be a sick one to gypsy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Gypsying up the Nile with a crocodile. <laughs> Finding yourselves a couple of Moses. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, 115 AD, he also decides, fuck it, and takes a little northern Mesopotamia as well, modern Iraq. Yeah, boy. Mesopotamia so, was the shit. Yeah. Obviously, when Mesopotamia was cool. I mean, this is a little bit after Mesopotamia being cool. Yeah, I know, but it's, like, it's, like the, it's the first good one before yeah. the Romans. It's a good one to Egypt, take. Egypt, Mesopotamia, Rome. That's it. Well, the Greece. Ones. Yeah, like, f- <laughs> <laughs> they really do. <laughs> so, 117 AD, Trajan falls ill. And jumps on a boat home to Rome. Yeah. He's a little bit sick. Got home a bit to of a Rome. T- home to Rome. Got a little, little bit little of a dicky tonic. And while he's on his way home, Hadrian is left in charge of the forces. Sick. So make or break for Hadrian. It's a pretty good little move for him. He's got the fucking George Bush. <laughs> George Bush going on. August 8th, 117 AD. Trajan never makes it home, bro. He dies en route. Oh, shit. A little tummy bug. Something Trajan could be a um, Mongol. It's also something like, something I bet he died it. from something a banana would fix nowadays, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, like, just, like it must have been bullshit. Just a shitty tummy. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he had the shits. Yeah. Was to give him, like, the salts. <laughs> Not salts. <laughs> to give him some but, bread. Yeah, no, he stuffed garlic into his arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he meant to do. No, he, we all smoked around him. <laughs> <laughs> we all fucking chanted around him yeah. and smoked in his face. I'm sure it was all right. I cut, I cut his toenails. I took the toenails to the <laughs> shrine. I gave him to the thing. <laughs> It'll be fine in the morning. <laughs> uh, so Trajan has no children, and he hadn't formally named an heir either. Lucky for Hadrian, some letters fucking appear. Oh, shit. He's Ri- pulling the Joseph Smith. Written by Trajan. Yeah, I've got these letters. We're looking through my hat. Can you can't <laughs> see them. That's because you don't believe. They're, they name Hadrian as his heir, obviously. 
And even Cassius Dio, a Roman historian from only like a century later, even he cons- considers it a bit dodgy. Yeah, the first calculator time dial. Well, he claims... <laughs> <laughs> that dude claims his dad, who was a Roman senator, uh, told him it was all a bit of a fuckery, claiming it was the tra- that it was Trajan's wife who used to hook Adrian up with all the Greek knowledge who even delayed telling the empire that Trajan had died so that the so news she could like come up with the letters so the news yeah. that the Hadrian with the letters came up first in history bro <laughs> <laughs> well these ancient Greek and Roman bitches all of them every them, time though. you come up with history there's like and it was this one princess <laughs> woman who had all the rights that fucked it all towards the end <laughs> but yeah so she released those letters before uh, I'm saying an ellipses here those letters, bef- uh, even though Trajan had died, she let those letters be known in sort of the news before the news about Trajan dying came out. Oh, nice. So she's crafty. Oh, she's like, oh, there's a, there's a new letter, by the way. Yeah. And then it takes two weeks to get there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a death certificate, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> she's a... Uh, she, yeah, well, she, she posts the documents of the adoption way before she posts, like, tags what hospital she's at with Trajan. Oh shit! Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. August tenth, one seventeen AD, Hadrian uh, Hadrian obviously becomes the new emperor, bro. Although he's still knocking about Syria away, having a little bit of a war, and he loves it a little. Oh my god! You just take a big gulp and you're burping it all up. Oh mate, it's like giving me a heart attack. Is what it feels like. Oh shit! Do you you know, know, I'm just get stuck there. I'm gonna. I get what you mean. <laughs> Hadrian's oh, calming down, I can handle it. It might even happen, bro, because the end of the story, Hadrian dies a heart failure. That might be what's happening right now, bro. Yeah, no, I'm thinking it's, it's coming one of these days. Do you ever this get the feeling you're like, this is new? This <laughs> must be it. This is the... Oh, damn it, now I remember now. I made a fucking pint of coffee before work. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Hadrian just becomes emperor. He gets the purple robe. He's feeling good, looking tough, August 10th, 117 AD. He's still warring about, but he starts heading home between like 117 and 118. It takes him a while. Warring and whoring. That's the Roman way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's on his way. He's just like smashing Jewish rebellions about. They're, they're, they're kicking oh, yeah, off they're down busting there. busting them down, bro. Yeah. That's how like earlier in the story, they were doing deals, isn't it? Yeah. The biblical times. Yeah. They're like, they've given Israel to the, f- the Israelis to collect the tax and they yep. collect the tax like, as it. a sum. Well, so I think at like this they're, time they're like as occupying, well. And now they're like, fuck all this. <laughs> fuck all this, everyone, everyone. Fuck all this. And they're going mental. They are going mental at the moment. And like, they end up, yeah, the Romans end up just having bare Jewish rebellions knocking off at this time. Yeah. It's also around about the time, so just before Hadrian was born, um, near, uh, the, not Nero, but the city of Rome had burned, um, like oh, two yeah. thirds of it. And, and no, it was Nero. Titus. So Nero's before, or was it Titus? No, it was no, Nero. No, Titus sacked Jerusalem. Nero burned yes, Rome. Ne- well, so someone burned Rome under Nero's watch. Yeah, so two thirds of it um, burns down, and uh, this is when ne- Nero starts the persecution of Christians in Rome oh, and yeah, stuff like that. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Shout out my homeboys back then drawing the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> they were down as fuck. <laughs> Imagine having Christ out. It's like being a Chinese Christian. <laughs> <laughs> so he so. Yeah, he's he's smashing all these rebellions, kicking off. Uh, Trajan, they all started under Trajan's rule, though. So Hadrian's sort of putting out Trajan's fires. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, on his way home, though, he does write letters to the Senate. Like, you boys are good. I ain't ever going to execute none of you. You're all safe in my book. I think you're all boys. Uh, but here, the, th- the thing is, back in Rome, Hadrian's Praetorian um, prefect, At- uh, Atonius, or Ati- Ationus, Fuck knows. He claims to have... Antonius. Antonius. Huh? Uh, big Tony. You remember Tony? So a big... Yo, Fat we, Greeks fan. We <laughs> did that last time with Rome, didn't we? Just make him up nicknames. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, and, uh, Antitone. Fat Tony. Antitone. Antitone claims to have uh, uncovered a conspiracy of a plot to kill Hadrian. Hey, you remember those guys? The guys from the West Side? No, those guys are great. <laughs> I know those guys from the... Not them. <laughs> They were telling me about these other guys. <laughs> <laughs> and keep in mind, Hadrian's just told, written a letter to the Senate being like, look, you boys are safe, I ain't going to kill none of you. Then this Antoninus, uh, anti-Tony guy pops up and he's like, yo, there's four senators who are trying to kill you, bro. Yeah. 
So these four senators... It's the, it's the exact ones that are like, no one's trying to kill you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not even in Rome at the time. They ended up getting hunted down and executed with no trial. Nice. But Adrian claims, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That was my boy. That's my fans. That yeah. was my, yeah. That's like, that's, things happen when you're in this lifestyle. <laughs> 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 the senators are pissed as well, obviously, after sort, sort yeah. of this. Literally just said, you boys are cool, and then backstabs them. 11.18, he finally arrives in Rome for his coronation. He hosts games at the Colosseum, the newly built Colosseum. This Gabba Gabba fresh. Gool. Could you imagine how good the Colosseum looked around this time as well? Yeah, boy, fresh. Yeah. Well, it can't be that good. It's like Italians building it. Well, it must <laughs> have been. At, least, at least it was like fresh. Yeah, it looked good, <laughs> bruv. It was shining. Yeah. You know All what I mean? them pillars that they learned about in just the Fucking the tigers. Class. Tigers, all sorts. Lions. Oh, yeah. Fuck, that was everywhere. Oh, man. Jesus is. I forgot because I, I rewatched Gladiator recently, and it's the first time I've seen it since I was like a child. So it's like, would be a good one, wouldn't it? It was like w- watching it with fresh eyes. It was nice, and I yeah. forgot the scene when you see Rome and the Colosseum, and I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, "Fucking!" When they see you see the streets of it and shit, it's like, "Damn, boy, it's a fun time in history." Wouldn't mind a little time machine. Yeah. Get me on the little Bill and Ted's. <laughs> yeah, get Ted in, boy. <laughs> Rufus, give, give Rufus a call, bro. So. 11, uh, 11, 18 AD, after he's arrived, a year later, in 1119 AD, or 119 AD, uh, 119 AD he tells his homie, Antinous, Tony, the guy who killed the conspirators. Anti the anus. He says, you should probably retire, because people are pissed. Mm. They ain't happy. You should definitely get to retiring. And he's like the Irishman. <laughs> he just turns up, plays like, you know, this the, it's not right with everybody. Every, I'm not saying everybody else is saying. It's like, that's what he's been doing this whole time. I, I'm just saying the guy's dead. You're the new guy. Uh, I, I, I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> he replaces him with two dudes. One dude named Septicus Clarus, and one dude who he's been fr- friends with since his first military campaign when he when he was hanging out with the bros, mm. a common soldier geezer who also has a gangster name. Oh, come on. Marcius Turbo. Marcius Turbo. Turbo. <laughs> this is where they got a name from. <laughs> he had, like, ram's horns. After and they whistled. <laughs> 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 then, hey, it also it's just like a Roman geezer called Turbo. Hey, hey Turbo. <laughs> I see you got rid of that funny hat. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Ottomans there. Turbo. Remember the turbo? turbo? Then Hadrian does some pretty wild shit as emperor. I bet he does this. Uh, he, he reverses Trajan's policies in Western Asia. So pretty much just gives a bunch of land back to everyone in Western Asia. He's The thing is, he's all about securing the border. And he thinks that Rome started to, to expand a bit much. Yeah. Uh, he particularly hands back territories in Mesopotamia, which he literally just came back from conquering. Just sort of fucked them up, took their land, got home and was like, nah, you can keep it really, boys. Yeah, no, I went too far there. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Didn't need all that. Have half back. Have half back. Good faith. Doesn't like expanding. Uh, so he decides what they got, sort what they've already got. And uh, he actually did one thing, pretty cool thing. He expanded the Roman upper class to um, allowing more people. So what that, one of the big things that it means. It was like, um, like a, what's it, class... He broke down the division of class and he let everyone in the orgy. Well, <laughs> black, white, midget. Come on. Well, he let he let like more people get into the Roman upper class, which means more people could get away with breaking certain Roman laws and coming up uh, with more like lenient punishments. And all that sort of shit. Yeah, could be like this frowned upon. Yeah, that's it. So more people got accepted of those laws. Um, but the thing is, he did like start amping up crucifixions and people being chucked in the Colosseum. Um, actually, no, sorry, he didn't amp that up. He made it so only lower class people could that could happen to. Oh shit! So he made the aristocracy slightly bigger. Like, oh no, you're cool. You're still middle class. Yeah. Now poor people. Yeah. We're looking for more messiahs. <laughs> so everyone's just gonna get crucified. We're <laughs> gonna see if we can find another one. <laughs> Started trying to gentrify the, uh, the 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 martyrs, bro. That's it. It's like the fucking Aztec style, where you just he... throw them off a bridge. She's not a witch. <laughs> <laughs> throw the next one. She uh, no one loved her. <laughs> Bro, this one's a lion. <laughs> ah, he ain't God's child. That's it. So he made it, also made it illegal, though, to kill your own slave. Imagine the beatings they got. Oh, they yeah. Were, like, well-tortured beatings, because you've got to go, like... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> 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 like, 
unless they um guilty of a capital offence, then you can be the shit out of capital offences. Um you can't they also can't be sold to brothels or gladiator schools anymore either. Lame. <laughs> How are you gonna find gladiators? One twenty two AD, Hadrian Hadrian decides to head out on a little empire tour. He starts in Britannia, bro. Yeah, boy. Goes to the furthest region, Britannia. He finds out what a thistle is. He's like, no! Build a wall, build a wall. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly that, bro. He sees the wild men of Scotland and their thistles. Yeah. They're all wearing dresses. They're all eating each other, being a little bit cannibalistic. For real, though. Ireland yeah. and Scotland were a little bit cannibalistic in some places. Sometimes, then. you know? And even <laughs> when they arrived in America, they kept up the tradition. <laughs> like the peoples in the Appalachians, they were all these cannibal freaky yeah, movies yeah. that are made like based on real events what's the o- earliest that's like cannibals then they're usually Scottish the, well, the, the earliest um, the, there's an old myth of like some Scottish ca- cannibal family who lived in a cave in the mountains from back then but also the earliest recording of the Irish in history is from a Greek dude and I think I've mentioned this before and he's basically just like yeah man they're just they're big fat dudes they really like to eat um, when their father dies they think if they eat their father, they get the power of their father. So they're munching on yeah, their dads. You know, um, he claims to be like the king of the gypsies. He's from all that big fat gypsy wedding. Paddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ate a piece of his son. Did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Heard something about that. I think he said it in an interview. Well, that's wild. And they'd be, they'd be weird because I said I'd be just eating a piece of him now. Yeah, that's... Well, there you go. Yeah. So, so he might be fucking old school, bro. <laughs> He's you don't know how old, old school, school he is, bro. He yeah, might be the king, it. bro. He might be Illuminati. <laughs> so, yeah, he gets uh, he gets to Scotland, sees Scotland, and says, yeah, they're not sending their best people over here to England. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no taming them. <laughs> He's la- he says they're sending murderers, rapists, coyotes. coyotes. So he sa- he decides we've got to build that wall. Rustlers. He, he decides it- that wall's getting built. Build that wall. He blocks off um, the Scot- Scottish from England. 73 miles, 80 small forts, 17 large forts, and six years to build. Old Hadrian's Wall, still part standing nowadays, represent. Some people can't build a fucking house in six years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that geezer built like a pre Oh, was... I missed one. July 10th. Yeah. It's the birthday of the uh, job I was on six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> still frozen. <laughs> So, yeah, he's, uh, this has also got 300 years of use, Hadrian's Wall, as well. Yeah. There was a brief period in the Emperor just after Hadrian. I still use it. I'll go and look at it. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, fair. It's, it's useful. It's still useful. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a fair one, bro. We still go have a little ganders. It's useful to the Scottish yeah. tourist board, isn't it? It proves. You know what I'm like. <laughs> I'll get my drawing pins out, and he's like, no, come on, no, honestly, it is, let's go and have a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's still... It is there. <laughs> it's not a conspiracy. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it is still used today, bro. That yeah. fact is fucking a liar. Great fact. Can I see him also still very much in use? Yeah, yeah, the Italian day. tourism board fucking love it. So we got, um, I thought as well with uh, Elon Musk might even be having a fight in the Coliseum. Do you hear yeah, about that's going to be great, that's bro. That's going to be fucking dope. That's going to be fantastic. I Imagine was it. I was thinking Zuck's going to get the fight because Zuck's been training Jiu Jitsu a little bit longer, even though he's Lizard Man. So I know Elon's a robot or an alien. But Zuck's and, no, he, at bare minimum, even if he's not an alien robot, yeah, Elon is fucking. Like mong strength. Let's know them guys, bro. Well, you know them guys. I thought, like I said, I thought Zook's gonna get it because of the uh, tr- training longer in the jujitsu and shit. Bruh, but bruh, 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 but Elon Musk, bruh, <laughs> knows Joe Rogan, bruh. <laughs> but I did see uh, Elon Musk recently post a picture training with Dana her. Yeah, uh, GSP, yeah. Gordon Ryan, yeah. and yeah. Lex Friedman. Yeah. <laughs> Lex Friedman took him on, and he's like, "Come to my gym." And now he's <laughs> fucking got him fucking hypnotized by Danaher, <laughs> and he'll be a fucking world champion within weeks. Yeah, that's it. GSP and uh, fu- just GSP and fucking. Um, Imagine Elon Musk and Danaher coming together. Yeah, bro. and Elon Musk is his white belt. <laughs> like the smartest man, the fucking craziest, smartest, <laughs> widest thinking man, is sitting down with the most fucking knowledgeable jujitsu god. Yeah, he's just gonna be like. <laughs> plugs it into his brain sucks what it all movie, in what movie is that where they plug into each other's brains <laughs> it might be Avatar but that's how they fuck no no that's there right. is one where you can just like, they like, be like oh, was it Batman Forever when he's like hypnotising people Jim Carrey's got that thing and he like oh yeah the Riddler yeah yeah Riddle the Diddle yeah that's it but also kind of like um, there was one it might even be a superhero go on like a, um, 
Yeah, the Riddler. Bad they'll be like, you don't know shit. And then they're like, and you have the like empathy. You see it. You oh, see the actual okay. historical event take place. And yeah, like, yeah. Oh, right. That's oh, how no, I don't know that one. I oh, can't think of that, that one. That might have just been a Black Mirror episode or something silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, back to the point. Back to the point. He so had magic powers or not? <laughs> what, how did we get down this road? <laughs> <laughs> so Hadrian's Walls has just got built. I said it gets 300 years of use, but we know it already gets a bit more Thousands use Thousands of years but of use. Ant- they do build the Antonine Wall. So the emperor after Hadrian does build the Antonine Wall further up north. But then they realise, you know, this was a shit idea. These Scots are wild and, and they head back to Hadrian's Wall. Yeah, so, so you might as well not have gone any further. Nah. He saw it and was like, fuck, this is where they start. <laughs> Boom. And he's like, we might take a little bit of land off and yeah. back for the night. This is where they start. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets back to Europe after that. He has a little Spain and France tour. And then he drops in on North Africa to fuck up a little rebellion with the Moors. Nice. Yeah. He's getting it all done. Yeah, he is. Guess what? He, how he decides to deal with the rebellion? Giving it all back afterwards. Build that wall. Is Build wall another wall, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's walling out of control. <laughs> Water. <laughs> yeah, he just starts building another wall, bro. Uh, his trip is cut short, though, when he hears Parthia is kicking off again. Does someone need a fucking wall? <laughs> <laughs> so he heads out. <laughs> Allergic to walls, bro. He heads out to Parthia. So Egyptian does. <laughs> he strengthens the defences in Parth- Parthia and starts discussions with King Osrosis the First. And Osrosis assures, Jones. He assures peace for the Blue geezers. <laughs> yeah, 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 all hold up. Osrosis is sick, man. <laughs> also hold up. <laughs> Comes in you twos. keep sneezing. Keep him distracted. Go on, keep going yeah. for another Anhauser. Have a little and check the camera. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh. 46 months. Oh, yeah, we ain't been going that long. I have a feeling this might be a short episode this week. Yeah, then I couldn't stop. Shit! <laughs> so, he sort of uh, assures peace with Parthia. And then, after Parthia, he decides, you know, I'm going to roam the lands of uh, Minor Asia a bit. And he turned up on a fucking little two si- two stroke crosser. <laughs> yes, that's it. He keeps <laughs> We've got sound now. effects now. So he, uh, in Minor Asia, he builds Hadrian's great, uh, Hadrian, Hadrian's Gate in Turkey. Ooh. Here he He's meets... He's got the hang of hinges. That's it. Here he meets Anto- uh, Antinus. Now, Antinus is a young lad who Hadrian falls in love with. That's not Antony. That's not Antony. This is Antinous. Yeah, Antinous. Antinous. Antanus. Antanus. Because that's funny that you call him Antanus because Hadrian does... I've got the vibe because you said he's a young man that he fell in love with. Yeah, ha- a- Hadrian does use him for his anus. Yeah. So. He uh, sends him to re- uh, Rome to receive an education. So he's looking after this boy before making... He said, you're so vulgar. You need to go... Lo- <laughs> Takes him to fucking like, etiquette school. You don't know anything Thank about you. Greeks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he sends him to... Yeah, he does that. And in the end, he gets him back as part of his entourage. But the thing is, as well, a reason he might be doing this because there's, there's some rumours about going on back in Rome, bro. Apparently, he's being cucked by his two best mates. Nice. Back in Rome, they're both banging his wife. So. And banging his child. <laughs> yeah, and there's letters being sent to him about, it, and he knows about it. He's cool with it, so he starts Rap battles. So he starts banging this child, because that's how the ancient Romans did. Like, think about how hard life was before the invention of the flashlight. <laughs> you had to use something. <laughs> <laughs> These ancient guys were wild, bro. 126 AD, he pops by Athens again. Has a little swing back. He's got his new gay lover with him, his new little boy. So and this of course is he's after going, the, Of course the, he's um, checking out the Greek culture. The if he's got Jesus, a little boy the execution him. of Jesus. So you've got no excuse now. <laughs> <laughs> like if he's just Babylonian, then you'd understand. <laughs> but look what they're up to. He spends a year there smashing um, and funding festivals. Smashing games, sorry. So he's also probably... Probably, I suppose. Yeah. He gets sworn into the Eleusinian Eleusinian Mysteries, an ancient Greek religious order. They did DMT in that. Yeah. Something like that. Shit. It's all like you go up into a fucking thing. Yeah. You go to the Egyptian magic school, you do this whole thing. So And then you do a little trip at the end. Hadrian becomes one of them. It's like all these... I keep getting advertised trips in like South America, the same sort of thing. Oh, yeah. I think I might be an infinite Lucy and mystery. <laughs> Come to Peru. Some stranger's going to blow some fucking weird dust in your face. <laughs> Monkey while you're there. <laughs> yeah. Tell you everything's all right, though. There's a leopard coming after you. Yeah, that's rifling it. through your wallet. 
Is it a like six hour trip happened? where you give up your credit card details? <laughs> For sure. They kidnap any female around you. <laughs> Sent down river to Rome. So he uh, builds the Arch of Hadrian in Athens as well. So he builds another little arch. Arch in walling. And doors. He re- he's really coming on. He's like a multi trader now. Oh, yeah. He's a proper multi trader. Here's another thing he does he refurbs the Temple of Zeus in Athens. Because <laughs> it gives it a little touch give up. Give it a little Zeus up. Yeah, a little touch up, bro. He really is just the guy around fucking doing places up geezer, isn't he? Yeah. Build yeah, he's like a multi trader, he's got a van. They call him the Greek builder. That's it, bro. No, you know, him the Greek one. He ain't still just he ain't just a little fat Greek boy dancing at dinner anymore. Yeah. He's yeah. going around chipping. Greek builder van is done. <laughs> I'm a man with a company. I'm with the union. One twenty six AD he heads back to Rome. But a year he's only in Rome for a year. Um in one twenty eight AD he decides to leave Rome again for another tour, bro. He loves travelling. Loves it. That's it, innit? He's, he's got Instagram. Yeah. And he's thinking, what can I, what's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> well, his, his first stop... a picture than that one with an elephant. He's clearly got a favourite place because his first stop is Greece again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, loves it. Before heading back over it's to... <laughs> before heading over to Egypt. Bit of Uzo. Bit of Uzo, boy. He's in, here's the thing in Egypt, October 128 AD, his lover... Antonius dies after falling in the River Nile. Oh, no. Yeah, bro. Not the Nile with a crocodile. That's it. Some people think it's a conspiracy against Hadrian, while some people tell a story that it was a sacrifice by Antonius, sacrificing himself to cure Hadrian of an unknown illness. Ooh. Yeah. But that sounds like a conspiracy in itself. You're not gay, Adrian. <laughs> you just love me. Yeah, smash. <laughs> Saves him. <laughs> I don't think if that's what they considered that as, bruv. But I don't know what they were thinking back then, bruv. You sacrificed yourself for anything silly. <laughs> Might as well make it as silly as possible. Either way, Hadrian's distraught and creates the city Anti- uh, Antinopolis in his memory. Antinopolis. Little, yeah. uh, little Tony. Yeah, little, little Tony outcrop. Antinopolis in, as in his memory. Is that, what, what is Antinopolis today, I wonder? Because they should make that a gay capital. Do you know, like Brighton or San Francisco? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like the island of Lesbos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is just an island for lesbians, you know? That's what it was. Oh, really? Yeah, that's how it got its name, yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, imagine sailing Fuck around off. Greece back in the day, boy. Fuck off. Turn up one, it's all lesbians. <laughs> Turn up to another one, Minotaurs. <laughs> it's fucking, it was paradise. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go do some training on Minotaur Island, and I think I might go have a barbecue at Lesbos, see what's popping off. <laughs> <laughs> so he has um, Anton- Antonius deified and turned into a god in Roman religion. Yeah, that, yeah, that's how you know it's... <laughs> it's they should listen to Jesus. That's weird as fuck. <laughs> Cult becomes <laughs> huge for 200 years, with dozens nice. of temples throughout the empire and thousands of statues built of the young lad. And then, like, you, the, you only join up to then sacrifice yourself off a boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the only, you, your, it's like uh, a, your sick uncle signs you up, <laughs> bums you, and then it's like kills you to... That's what they're still studying now in the Illuminati, the Roman cult. Is that what that cult is? And that's what it is. It there must be go, the Antinopolis Rob. one. one throw them th- off a yacht. <laughs> Fill them full of drugs and spunk and throw them off a yacht. 132 AD, Bar Kokhba revolt. Uh, it's a big old kickoff in Judea, bro. Oh, I thought it was a, it was a gay bar. <laughs> bar Kokhba. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what they read off the neon lights. It's uh, Tension has been high for decades, and this is considered part of the Jewish-Roman wars. It's a kickoff because Rome tries to build the city of Aelia, uh, Capitolina. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Capitolina. That's it, Aelia Capitolina, over the ruins Aelia of Capitolina. Jerusalem, including building a temple to Jupiter. He'd o- just been there and said all about this shit. <laughs> In, uh, including building a temple of Jupiter on Temple Mount itself. Yeah, they're talking about building on Temple Mount nowadays, bruv. How are they? Wild as fuck. They want to make like a triple faith centre. So Which is, it's all there in the book saying don't do that. <laughs> well, they almost made it, made one for Jupiter. Jupiter is, oh no, it's Saturn. Yeah, Saturn's That's another the bad one. one. They're, they're, they're Saturn's a fucking Grimbus. So, Simon Bar Kokhba is the leader of the rebellion. Wallabu Kokhba. <laughs> He's overrunning the Romans and controlling the area of Judea. They've got their own country, uh, currency and everything. Hebrews? Yeah. Nice. Like, they've got their own currency, everything, bro. No, we wouldn't, eh? 134 AD. Hadrian calls his top general, 
Sextus Julius Severus. (laughs) (laughs) Severely sexy Severus, come to me. Yes, master. The Romans start winning now. Now sexy man's turned up. And the rebellion fallings, uh, sexy as Slavius, <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> I'm going to tell you again. His name is... Severius Sexius. Sextus Julius Severus. Sexy Julie. <laughs> <laughs> sexy Julie. Uh, the rebellions fall back inside the ancient tower of Beta, and a long old siege starts. It's uh, a siege that lasts for a year, and in 135 AD, 80,000 Romans... Enter Betor and slaughter the men, women, children until the blood flowed from the doorways and sewers. Simon Bachbar himself was killed as well, the leader of the rebellion. Oop. They fucked that one pretty well. Is that one of the early ones or? No, that's one of the later ones. But out but of 109, <laughs> which, which number was this that they got fucked up out of? Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one this is, but I think it's one of the earlier ones. It's got to be, Because it's it? Romans. Yeah. Hadrian, Romans love to do it. <laughs> after that, Hadrian finally returns to Rome. Um, and now home, Hadrian begins to grow paranoid and violent. He starts getting a little bit freaky. He ain't on tour. His little boy lovers died. He's grown his toenails out. <laughs> <laughs> He's living in a room full of bottles of his piss. <laughs> he turned all the lights off and that. He starts putting to death many influential geezers who uh, he thinks are conspiring against him. 136 AD, he poisons his own wife, Sabina. Oh, shit. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case. Um, and he starts deciding to sort out his successor after this as well. He's like, all right, now that I've killed my wife, I'm going to have a success. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to pick uh, Serv- Servianus. <laughs> Servianus. Serving up Anus. Servianus, one of his top advisors. But dude was old as fuck, and he died in 136 AD anyway at 90. So the year he started trying to sort this all out, the geezer. Oh, right, he was already fucking well old. Yeah. Just so, like um, Servietius, who always had a tissue on him. <laughs> 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 so Hadrian was going to name uh, the dude's grandson, Fascus. But he ended up going against that and choosing Lucius Commodus instead, who's... Uh, Actually, the son-in-law of one of the past senators he killed early on in his career. So people were like, is this an admission of guilt by hiring this guy? Oh, uh, right, yeah, he's like, yeah. I feel guilty about it. Yeah, that's it. Here's the thing. The son of uh, Servianus and the grandson, um, they were obviously a little bit pierced. Nobody knows exactly their levels of pierce. Did they try and start a rebellion or they just turn to Hadrian and be like, come on, bro. But either way, um, Hadrian hasn't fucking executed. That's it. So now he's got the ones he's suspected and the ones that are confirmed. Yeah. Now who's left? Yeah, that's that. Uh, so you build a wall, bro. He ends up, uh, yeah, he executes him and Servianus' son says... Serves up so much anus. He says to his executioner, as for Hadrian, this is my only prayer, that he may long for death but be unable to find it. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, bro. Early 138 AD, Hadrian's heir, he just named and had all this fucking trouble with, dies gets suicides himself in the back of the head twice <laughs> and then a clinton is named <laughs> he the hangs governor him, hangs himself uh on a tr- in a tree at a ranch 10 miles away from his house and blasts himself in the chest with a shotgun with his hands tied with his hands tied yeah that's, that's exactly that's what he standard does standard suicide that's his suicide when yeah. you're a politician they're um, very they think about it <laughs> Make it very elaborate. So instead, he names Antonius Pius and lays the path. Pius! Well, he lays the path for a future Marcus Aurelius to take power. Yeah, boy. Start That's saying, the way. Like, Pius look, was I'll, I'll hire wasn't you. Very pious, though, was he? I'll hire you if you adopt this kid who I want to be future emperor, and that's little little baby Marky Mark. Because little baby Marky See, Mark used to knock that about. Yeah. I listened to that episode. While I was playing Farm Simulator is what I realised. When uh, I said earlier, we talked about this when I was playing Farm Simulator. Yeah, yeah. No, I re-listened. That's the only one I've ever listened to. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it's Roman shit. So yeah. I was like, yep, we've said this before. Deja vu. So yeah, little. this is this is around the time now. Little little Marky Mark child is hanging out with Hadrian. Stoicism is on the rise. That's it. So unhappy with life, Hadrian is thwarted from committing suicide on multiple times. Just oh, like shit. Servianus. Servianus. Or well, he tries Anus. to fucking jump off every boat he goes on because yeah. he's that part of that religion. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Gets super sad about it. I get that. But he never manages to top himself, so. Until 
that's how you know he's a drama queen. 10th of July, 138 AD. Our day in history, cuz. Age 62, Emperor Hadrian dies very painfully of heart failure at his residence on the Bay of Naples. Boy. Boy. He's grasping at his nipples on the Bay of Naples. <laughs> <laughs> he's in pain, cuz. I nearly died of heart failure earlier, actually. We all experienced this together. It all roped in together this week. Not a bad, not a bad show. Yeah, quick little notes. This one that was a quick episode for us, cuz. Yeah, that, yeah, the ads. That's what I'm saying. You don't They're really tough, get much isn't notes. They? Yeah, it's like you, there's there's like one dude that ever talked about it, and he only like talked about it briefly. He didn't go into too yeah, much details. Yeah, like in the back of this book, actually, they do mention that there was someone there at this time. But who yeah, knows? yeah, we got a little expert. Someone maybe slightly mentioned him here that he might be knocking about here. Some barbarian king said I've been fucked off by this little gay boy Hadrian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Adrian come around with his fucking little helper with him. Swear he's bombing him. Look, like, it's like Thanos and that other alien would be, I reckon, is the size difference. And by the way, this is, this is the king and the emperor saying that about Adrian. Yeah. I don't mind Adrian doing what he's doing, as long as that kid was of age. No, it definitely wasn't. Because it's, defi- it's, it's, it's ancient times. It was, what's it called? Even geezers were banging b- abroad back then who definitely weren't of age as well. Yeah, but it's like the flesh type thing as well. Yeah. It's like, I love you, wife. Please don't cheat on me. Anyway, I'm taking three 14-year-olds to battle with me <laughs> just in case I need to fucking have a, yeah. a wank that I don't need to use my own bicep with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it back then, isn't it? Fucking wild. Oh, Same as what you said about the samurais. Yeah. And all people who well, that was say like or a, whatever. That was like a service thing if you read the Haggard Curry. Yeah, they were servicing them, man. Yeah, it was meant to be like, this guy's teaching me how to be a bad man Leng thing. I should totally let him just dump cum in me. Yeah, it's a weird one because it should just be blowjobs at that point. Yeah. It's like it, it will get awkward. We we'll never talk about it, and but he's he's taught me to be a fucking samurai. I might yeah. as well suck him off. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It should have just been like ah, fuck, it's, I don't it's that think time again. Ro- I reckon I, like, I've earned it. He's earned it. <laughs> but I don't think Romans had that. It's not like you no, know Romans had like. It's not like you're getting cum dumped in you because you're being taught how to make a tortoise shell with your shield. It's just because you're sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because you're at the symposium. What are you gonna do? <laughs> You went to gymnasium, boy. You got your bum out. What are you going to do, bro? Most doing any exercise naked. Yeah. And someone watching. Yeah. Like, it's the weirdest shit ever. Yeah, it's true. Not the weirdest shit. Obviously, like... There's weirder shit. Chicks but... exercising is hot enough. Imagine yeah. they were naked. <laughs> yeah, like, like, So imagine what dudes would... Like, gay dudes would look at each other like, fucking... Look at those fucking old Johnson swings <laughs> when he's doing them kettlebells, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Like a Shit. fucking Indiana Jones whip. Yeah, he's bringing a sound barrier with that long old foreskin on him. <laughs> Fuck Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> fucking go stick another one on the cross. Mm. Oh, no, he's got a weird one too. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Only the messiahs. <laughs> They're not going to count these ones. <laughs> oh, man. What a wild time to be knocking about, though. Peak Rome, bro. Yeah, Peak that's Rome. the fucking... That would be the shit. Yeah. This is when, like, is it would be, like, an alien adventure. Like, if yeah. you were proper travelling all the way through all these empires... Yeah, yeah. ...at this time, at, like, z- 0 BC to, like, 50, 100, sort of, ter- like, early... Early, early. ...fucking, like, as the common era changes... Yeah. This got to be a fucking party, bro. Oh, no, this would be a party. Everyone's got completely different languages, completely different helmets, completely different cultures, religions, within, like, hundreds of miles of each other. Are you going to the Colosseum, bro? Yeah, <laughs> I'm probably in there for fucking stealing bread. Uh, no, I don't. I don't even. What do you mean, axe sword, mate? Or, I don't do one-handed fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any like long Daedric longsword? <laughs> Have you been dragged from Wales, bro, as a Celtic slave? No, I dragged myself to France to support the French brothers against the Romans and that. Oh shit! Do you know what I mean? Like the yeah, Gauls are getting yeah. in, and I'm like, I'm not having that. My brothers across the water. <laughs> and I go around there and get. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I should have never listened to that cut on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am being marched to fucking Italy. That's it. Oh, could you imagine like being like a blue man slave? So you paint yourself naked. Well, you paint yourself naked. You paint yourself blue. While naked, running into battle. Are you naked if you're painted? Yeah, no, I don't think you are. I've seen some... Yeah, if you've got paint and it looks like a football kit, I think it's not porn. <laughs> I've, I've seen a few of them. <laughs> on the under-18s. <laughs> like, under watershed part of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so there's... um, Yeah, so you're naked, you're blue. 
you get knocked out in battle, you wake up marching or in a wagon or whatever, and you get end up walking for days, by the way. Walking for Yeah, it's just all walking. That's how you break you. Like, this was walking. the hardest cunt. We had to knock him out to yeah. get him in chained up. We better walk the fuck out of him before we show him to anyone. And the same will be able to bang him. That story with Hadrian, like, they just walked there, bro. Everyone's yeah. going on mad books. marches. Yeah. I don't think I said it the other day. Like, imagine arches this... versus marching versus arching, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, just like, everyone, chish, chish, chish. same speed the whole time, all together. You could just aim, like, don't aim where they, they are, aim just where they're aim. gonna be. Just fucking fire. And when in they're blocks, marching even in a crowd. as well. When they're marching in a crowd, it's just fire at anything, isn't it? No, you've got to be strict. You got, it's like playing fucking Space Invader, Sam. That's why you know good at Space Invader. <laughs> digga, 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 what digga, I'm saying Up is and down, up and down, they where they're going to be. they got to march in a zigzag, bro. Yeah, they should be like marching with a little roly-poly phone in. <laughs> Everyone has their own flair that they do every 12th March or whatever. So yeah, you're this blue, blue naked geezer and you just had to walk for time and then you get dragged to the open, to that scene in Gladiator when you, they, they're walking the streets of Rome, bro. Yeah. You'd be shit in it, wouldn't you? Yeah, mate, that'd be sick. That'd be wild, bro. Well, no, the first time we've ever seen or heard of or know any inclination of a tiger. Yeah. Imagine yeah, seeing a tiger yeah. for the first time and you've got to fight it. Yeah, that's wild. Like, where the fuck am I? Like, it's like fucking Jedi universe. Like, do you know when they turn up to that Coliseum that has all the aliens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That must yeah. have been what Tackle it felt clones. like. Yeah, for sure. And then some dude's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> and he knows how to fuck them up with a sword. And you're like, that's a Jedi. <laughs> and you just fucking Kit Fisto there. <laughs> <laughs> Another one I thought of as well before, like, imagine being... So there's that one of my favourite memes. It's like, uh, I'm going to be fucking butcher it, but it's like what uh, when you're a Roman soldier out in the middle of Europe and you think, hey, what's that sound? And it's, oh, it's probably nothing. And then it's that <laughs> mental band High Lung playing yeah. the fucking crazy techno fucking Viking music. Yeah. Um, I always think on the opposite side of that. So you're some like wood elf living in a mud hut, like wiping your ass with leaves, motherfucker, right? Yeah. And you just live in the bush, yeah? And then one day you see dudes made How of do you know metal. so much about me? <laughs> oh, what, you're setting the scene? <laughs> <laughs> and then you see dudes made of metal with shiny golden yeah. eagles. And they're in the fucking sun. big animals. And, and they're, they're marching where they've just got a wall of, like, fucking... When they do the tortoise shell shit. Yeah. Could you imagine? Like, like, I've seen a hedgehog, but i never seen no fucking <laughs> metal man-made hedgehog with right. spears. And you, they've got... Their shit's so, shi- so shiny, you ain't ever seen shine before. And they're yeah. gleaming in the sun and yeah, shit. So imagine your eyes will be sensitive, picking up like there's a rabbit moving like a mile yeah. off over there. Should we hit it with a rock or what? Yeah. Like, and then you're like, you looking like really reflective chrome. Yeah, right. It's that must be have been how up. they got them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They turned up like. So fucking... I'm glad I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a gen- uh, genetic trait that's that Celts came up with. We're the only ones that survived. <laughs> like, it's fucking so shiny down there. <laughs> down there, get you. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid that. It is shiny. That might be a Roman boy. <laughs> it's getting closer and <laughs> shinier. And uh, I don't know. I'm gutted we couldn't get a Roman eagle. I just want one. Yeah, same. I don't I care won't. about the Nazi symbolism. I just want a Roman eagle. <laughs> I'm supposed to suggest that here and not say it out loud. <laughs> now I don't want one, actually, if anyone's willing to donate. But I want Blown as well. it. But a Judge Dredd, bro. He has the big old eagle on his shoulder. Yeah, no, eagles are the shit. Everyone knows no, that. Pre- actually, well, well, that's the old, oh, mate, I'm about to go into mad conspiracy shit then with the angel versus snake shit. Yeah. Uh, angel, so that, eagle versus snake shit. Yeah. Eagles, hawks, and snakes was one of the prophecies in... Yeah. Achilles and stuff as well. Yeah, that's it. Eagles and snakes is the big shit. That's it, bro. And, and like dragons were a special like combo. Well, that's where you got like dragons and shit. We talk like... about like old flags and standards. The Roman Empire yeah. they had like eagles and shit. And China's been having a dragon, a lizard, a yeah. snake for centuries yeah. and shit. That's, that's what it. it all comes down to, bro. But then you also got the thing where the Romans and the Holy Roman Empire and the Catholic Church and that. Were, yeah, is it basically the Roman Empire? Yeah, it's the Roman Empire chasing the snakes. Like St. Patrick chased the snakes. That's they it. use snakes to refer to the That's pagans from people. Yeah, we're eagles. They're snakes. Like pagans. St. Patrick. Nobody's heathens. St. Patrick getting all the snakes out of Ireland was St. Patrick getting all of the pagans out of Ireland. Well, I'd understand killing all the pagans. <laughs> <laughs> but you say you're doing it to like rid them and get rid of all their shit. But then you've got a library full of all their gear and you're yeah. keeping it a secret. Yeah, and you're also like... Um, you're not even mocking it. 
You, you got all their magic and you stole it from them. No one knows stealing, it except you. Stealing some shit from them and passing it off as your culture or trying to make a broader universal culture. Yeah. You this Santa Rhea Catholicism that yeah. just fucking turns my stomach. Yeah. Which is why... They're the new pagans. They're the... the like, that's why it's so well, it's popular. Like super hybrid ca- paganism, isn't it? When you create a co- when the age, when the yeah, holy so no, Roman we're we're like what do you call it when they got more than one god, not monotheist, um, the opposite, polytheist. Yeah, polytheist. They're like poly. They 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 identify <laughs> as poly, and um, they're like you had to like sell them something. Like yeah, no, there's one big one, and then there's everyone, everyone that's ever been good. You can call, you can pray to all the saints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not any of the rules. No, it's not the rules, is it? But um, when so what? Who is Saint of Fishing? (laughs) Well, he's fishing backpacks, (laughs) flip flops. This one, Cristiano Julius and him and three others. It's their feast day today. I'm gonna make a little symbol of him and a little uh, little sculpture to worship. I'm gonna keep it on my bracelet a bit. You're not meant to be doing that, mate. I don't. That means if you crack on like you are, you're going hell. But then again, like we just said, Catholicism was made as more of a general culture by the Holy Roman Emperor to control so yeah. many different cultures and societies yeah. under that one, one doctrine. Like I was saying, imagine all these dudes have got different helmets in different languages and you've got to come up with one thing. Yeah. Everyone's like, Jesus sounds cool. Yeah, well, anyway, <laughs> everything else, I better see you every Sunday. You better tell me if you did wrong. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm throwing in you the fucking yeah. Colosseum, brother, and you're getting yep. scratched up by a lion. Burning or something? <laughs> we'll think of something. The Spanish guys are stretching motherfuckers out. <laughs> Get ready. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Hadrian and the Holy Roman Emperor today. I don't know how we got into that other shit but it's always worth a chin it's fucking Roman time bruv yeah when are we going to be able to chat shit dressed in togas about this shit again <laughs> let's, let's do a scene from Gladiator <laughs> I'll be the nasty bastard <laughs> well that's one thing I regret though is never growing up in like a a frat society type thing in, that they have in America we never got to have toga parties bruv yeah that's why, and on Anhauser Bush's birthday, bro. Yeah. Imagine how many toga parties Anhauser's fucking Shit. sigil has been at. Oh, there you go, brother. Because his whole symbol's magic. It was meant. It was. You really might be able to pull it up this whole AB thing with all these like little wiggles. It looks like a dollar. Yeah. That was like the the Masonic sort of thing of the time. Brothers. You put loads of geometry into a symbol in your sigil. It's written in the stars for you to be drinking Budweiser in a toga on this day. Literally. And that's like, it wasn't enough. I should have had them all here. I've been like shy about getting up and getting them every time. <laughs> you don't want everyone to see that you've got the Dylan Mulvaney that's cans. Should we, should we <laughs> shotgun one. No, I do. I forgive Anne House of Bush on his birthday and I'm looking for sponsorship. <laughs> Just getting a bit expensive out here. <laughs> so yeah. And how's a bush? Happy birthday! And I don't want to say happy. a sponsorship, boy. I bought so many cause lights from a corner <laughs> shop that Uncle started wearing a fucking cause light, like no Hawaiian shirt style short, like short sleeve bowling shirt. Cause light there, cause light on a collar. Are you kidding me? He you bought him. Fucking give me that. You bought him a yeah, fucking. He must have got it from being like, why order so many? Go on, boy. Yeah. Show him. He must have thought he's on pub. <laughs> Fuck, bro. You got Uncle a cause light t-shirt. And he's like literally out of the packet. He looks like he's starched. Look <laughs> 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 around <Grand> all square. <laughs> Bro. It was me as soon as I found out about Dylan Mulvaney. Nope. Pause every day. <laughs> bang, bang, bong. Did you have a word with him? Like, that's my t-shirt, bro. No, I'm going <laughs> no, I haven't seen him since I figured it out. I've seen him twice in it. And I was like, sick. Wait a minute. That's mine. <laughs> I'm going to ask him to get me one. And then he'll like shamefully be like, this is your one. 